They are the founders of uh, XPT, Extreme Performance Training, and his book, Life Rider, Heart, Body, Soul, and Life Beyond the Ocean, is available where all books are sold. Great to have here together on The Rich Eisen Show. They've been on separately, but together as a couple, Laird Hamilton and Gabrielle Reese. Good to see you guys. Nice to see you. What's going on in your lives? What's going on? Everything? Uh, you know, I on? think like everybody, we're trying to raise our daughters. Well, actually, one's in the real world. Yep. And, the um, oldest one has she, a job after has, college. Can you believe it? What is she doing? She's reading LIDAR, which is like radar. And she, I know. So it's, Hold on a second. I don't know if the mailman <laughs> something. something <laughs> we, did, we, we did. Come on. It's because we had no choice, okay? So, okay. you know, we tell our kids, you can actually use your brain to make a living but, if you'd like to. But you went <laughs> to Florida State University, Gabriella. <laughs> Highly academic school. You went to, you went they to want to be different. Your kids want to be different. So That's they just right. figured, how can I be different than my parents? Yeah. I'll do, uh, yeah. okay. like, yeah. laser mapping. Yeah, so we're, doing, we're trying to raise the kids and, make, and see if they can try to be, you know, it's a crazy time. You know, you've got small children. Yes. And um, when your kids tell you yours are a little bit younger, um, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. We don't understand. Like what they have to navigate in yeah. coming up is very, it is truly different than what we're dealing with. So we're, we're trying to learn and yeah. grow. And well, we have the middle daughters a little more. Physical? She's, she's hitting tennis balls right now like a, like a crazy person. She's she in a camp where yeah. she's playing eight hours a day. Yeah. But out of her own choice. Right. You know, and, then, and then the youngest one. She's, she runs the show pretty much. We're well, that's, uh, that's, oh, well, is that you know, it? My okay. five-year-old daughter runs yeah. the entire See, show. I'm an only child, so I, this is all new oh, to me. There we go. Uh, Laird, I don't usually say this to somebody before um, uh, I've truly gotten a chance to get into a conversation, but I've been in your pool. Yes. I don't know if you're aware of this fact. Yeah, with your dog. Remember I, you brought your dog? I brought Hudson, yes. Yeah, remember? Uh, so you came when I wasn't there. I was and, and, in it, and then got out of it, and then yeah, you could with tell your, me. Hold on a minute. It, it, it gets a little stranger with your wife. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and the dog. <laughs> have I not told you this story, Chris? No, no, you did. no I've, I've told you a story because I nearly yeah. lost my life in that yes, pool yes. because you put oh. a vest of oh, yeah. <laughs> what, magnets or whatever the hell's in this vest. Lead, lead, pounds? Lead. Lead? lead. Yeah, we've evolved since then. Now we do it with weights that you can set down gently and yeah. get away from. In the beginning go. days, it was vest. There's like, just tread, and you're like, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Bef before the extreme performance training started yeah. honing it a little bit, you've I got, got the Game of Thrones treatment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you've yeah. gotten what we yeah. all went through to, Blair was like, just do this, and we were like, Okay. So this was what you have now evolved. What started what you have now evolved yeah. to in your in your performance training, right? Yeah. Is that I got in the pool with a vest. You're an OG. Of, of weights of lead. Yes. yes. And like yep. go tread yeah. water. Yeah. And it was, by the way, excellent core exercise. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. A little fear. There's a little bit also. Yes. A lot of fear and also uh, some cardio. Like I didn't know that I was actually sweating. And in that a was pool. actually before you were working out. You were getting cardio because you were hyperventilating. <laughs> um, you know the thing yes. is, is you can say to people that you you yes. you did it the hard way because now what's so great about it is now we have all this stuff you can do and it can be really ballistic, easy on the joints. Um, we've made it so whether you are afraid of the water, not good in the water, not a swimmer or right. dynamic, mm -hmm. we have something for everybody. Yeah, but XPT itself is just the, the pool is one aspect yeah. of it. So right. it's really breathe, move, and recover yeah. is really the philosophy behind that training. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with uh, mobility, breath work. It, it, it speaks to longevity. I mean, it's not, and we can subject anybody to it. It's not just, you know, Why does he use elite. the word subject? No, only. by the yeah. way, share? I felt like a no. Share. You share, yeah, sub yeah, subject <laughs> yeah. somebody. That's what yeah. I got subjected yes. to. Yeah. I, by the way, I was a boss in the recovery part after that day. I mean, But this oh, is an oh important gosh. thing. You know, you see people, they train, especially athletes, and you go, okay, on your recovery day, and they go, yeah, I do nothing. And Laird is a great example of somebody who has had, obviously, longevity and performance. And and it's like, no, you can actively recover. You can do things to participate in your recovery. And, and the breathing yeah. is a big thing because yeah. it's also – I always say it's free, and you can do it everywhere, <laughs> and it's the well, essence it's, of life. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the important. single most important thing to, to performance as well. So bre yeah. breath is it's all about breath, right? At the right. end of the day, we give it very little importance. Yeah. I mean, I can take top athletes, and I, I run them through a breathing routine, and they really aren't great at breathing. And they can, yeah. they're not great uh, you know, cardio, cardiovascular, sure. like they think they are. They think they're, they're, because they can run around all day, doesn't mean that you really have optimum breath work. Can you drop me a, a name on, on I who, would never do that. On who has... Oh, come on. Hyperventilated? Me. I'm not good come at my on. breath. But ice and heat come is on. a big part of what we do too. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great tool. Okay. Heat and ice, I, I Yeah, you come think. over again for the ice, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, we've, we've, 
<laughs> oh my it's gosh. The ice is, is yeah. what is what does Wim Hof say? The noble force. Nobody noble loves. Force. Nobody's like yeah. I love the ice. Uh, you know it, it. It it's uh, you gotta. It's the the usual. You know Submission. pain before gain and all of that. <laughs> Laird Hamilton, Gabrielle Reese here on the Rich Eisen Show. That's the extreme performance training. Uh, over thirty years of of putting this together and I was part of the putting it together sure. xptlife.com life rider heart body soul and life beyond the ocean uh written by you Laird and Julian Bora what is this what's this book about why did you decide to write this book uh I mean you know I, I think the reason why we wanted to write it is because we felt like there were some things that we could share with people that mm. that they could benefit from and uh it, it, it's I kind of got a little bit of pressure to write it, actually, to be Don't honest. Not by, not, right by, not by Gabby. <laughs> okay. Actually, just by some That's friends right. that were like, you know, you should, you should I'm write sorry, I didn't mean to do that, yeah, yeah. but I just assumed. Yeah, yeah. That's really no, good. there's okay. pressure in other areas. <laughs> <laughs> in other areas. Not about the book. Okay. But I have, yeah. It's true. We can get into that. That's 23 a, years. Buddy. That's a completely different topic. But uh, no, and so it, it, there's some philosophy stuff in there. And there's some, the nice thing about the book is is that it's, uh, it's. A, I mean, I'm learning from it in the process of 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 writing the book. There's a lot of research on um, island islanders and and yeah. sociology around islanders and how it, living on an island influences you and being connected. Yeah, you know, tribal living, the notion of sharing, not owning. You know, yeah. I think it's. I can say as an outside person who's inside that the great thing is is that being in the ocean and being in nature, I think, has taught Laird a lot of really important lessons that he can communicate succinctly mm -hmm. and it's about everyday things and it's so it's not about surfing and it's not about like being you know extreme it's really a, a simplistic and sophisticated way i think of how laird looks at things pretty clearly sometimes that's pretty neat it's available where all books are sold uh right now how did you two guys meet I was hosting a television show. And, Which one was that? Uh, it was called The Extremist. It was one that I did after MTV Sports, and uh, Laird was a guest. And uh, it was you know. love after first communication. Yeah, he was. It's not like Laird was that nice to me in the beginning. And so, um, you know, she. I mean, come on, a television host, pretty attractive girl. I was like, right. and he didn't know I did sports. Smart, that was the other know? thing. He's like, oh, it's a gun for hire, some blonde girl. And then after the interview, he was much nicer, and I think we lived together eight days later. We did. Yeah. Hold on a second. We walk through it. So wow. you interviewed Laird for this show. Is yeah, and by the way, it was, like, a show, it was a show, by the way, that she was doing mm -hmm. the activities of the of yeah. the participants. The beginning of the show. version, and usually it was hang glide, skydive, yeah. you know, right. uh, drag motorbikes, like I you mean, do here, Rich, like you do so here. She was, <laughs> She was participating in the desk. She was participating in the activities, <laughs> and. Uh, and it was a show that really came out of MTV Sports, yeah. the original. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I was, listen, most of my guests, like your show, yes. I had maybe two or three women over the years, all, you know, athletes, and they were all guys. So it wasn't like, hey, let's hook up. It's a dating, you know, service. Yes. I was there to work. And, You're a professional. Um, You're being professional. I was a professional. Okay. And then that all like went out the tree. window when I met Laird. Uh, <laughs> and so, it, literally that was in 1995. And so interview over. And then well, no, that numbers were exchanged? No, or? no, no, don't. I'm sorry. That's I don't mean it. Ridiculous. No, I'm Was just Was it before trying. cell phones? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they what happened is well. they it's brought me to play volleyball. Like with uh, Laird was part of a crew called Strap. They sort of created this toe in surfing back in those yeah. days. Yes. And when it was flat, they played beach volleyball. Who knew? And so they asked me like two, three days later, hey, will you come and play? And so I was shooting a horse polo segment. I said, sure. They brought me over, one of the wives. And then I needed a ride back to my hotel. <laughs> And Laird was there, and he's the only one I knew. Hmm. I had a car. <laughs> <laughs> was that it? Was it that easy? He has a truck. Four-wheel drive. <laughs> and it actually was four-wheel drive. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I'm a four-wheel drive kind of girl. You are. Yeah. You didn't know that about yourself, I'm Gabby, all about until function. just now. I'm all about function. It took you 23 years to realize that. <laughs> you just dawned on me right now. There you go. That's amazing. That's We're cool. Very for but you know what? Listen, you know this because you're in a in a marriage that with somebody that you love and respect very yes, much. Is, it's the same to you. I well, you, that's you, true. But yes. you start to realize 
the grass isn't greener. And if you're with somebody that you really like mm -hmm. and you're attracted to and yes. you respect and you can sort of get through stuff, because people have asked us, oh, have you ever gone through things? And I'm like, well, once in the third year of our marriage and once in the 11th year of our marriage, but n not that I remember. It's, it, of course, it's oh, hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's not perfect. She doesn't remember. No, but I'm saying like, <laughs> I don't. the specific I mean, year in November. Right. Yeah. No, but, and the reason I say that is because I feel like we are really yeah. lucky and there yeah. might be this idea that it's, oh, it's so perfect. Mm -hmm. And I never want to sell that. What I want to sell is we have a lot of things going for us and we work at it. And, um, and also when you're with somebody that you really can be with, you, you got to take care of that. You got to, you got to well, honor that. I think that. at times too, you, you realize that, that the thought of not being together is you just not, that's not something that you ever want to experience. You're like, sure. yeah, I don't ever not want to be with you. So being with you, I'm going to do whatever I take, whatever I need to do yeah. to be able to be with you. you know? Or, and just, that's why we train. So we can make, I mean, Laird trains so he can still surf, but I train really so I can try to be sort of a nicer human being. A nicer, so you work things out through your, your exercise. On my own. Yeah. Yeah. Underwater. My wife's the same way as well. Um, so are you guys competitive with each other? No, that doesn't Gabby work. No. People ask that, do you compete with Laird? I'm like, why would I do that? <laughs> I can't win that race. What are you crazy? Well, there's uh, no way. Only in volleyball, maybe years ago, but I don't play volleyball anymore. Then that and that ended with me riding in the back of the truck with All the, the dogs licking my face. Yeah. <laughs> so is that how it works? Yeah, because I was up? like, oh, uh, now we're yeah. competing in the one thing that I might have a fighting chance. Yes. I mean, Laird is. I can say this. He's a very talented athlete. Yes. So it's. I'm not going to compete with him. It's I mean, like me trying to compete with her, you know, with intelligence. I don't even try. Okay. Oh, I just go, see. yeah, you're smart. -er. A mental judo. I just go like, can you you're lift smarter. that for me? And I'm good with that. And then you like, just I, don't, tap out. I don't need to be smarter than her. I'm right. good. Like, it's okay. <laughs> uh, when was the last, uh, Laird Hamilton, Gabrielle Reese here on the Rich Eyes Show, a few more minutes left. Yeah. Um, when was the last time, Laird, you ate a pizza? Ooh. Well, I had a cauliflower, yeah. a piece of a cauliflower pizza yeah. the other night. Does that count? No. That would be oh, me man. sooner. No. That would be me It was pretty Laird. good. I'm was pretty talking, good. I'm, no, no, Laird. I'm talking about... A real oh, Like a, a New York... Like, yeah, like cheese. Yeah, yeah. Sauce, pizza. salami, like the real no deal. No cauliflower. No, let's yeah. not try and oh, yeah. veggie it up. Yeah, yeah, like okay. a real deal. Okay. Like, I would. I would eat one. Like, I'm like, not... When is I get, that a threat? I mean, like... No, no, I'm just saying I'm capable of eating them. I just... I don't remember, actually, when the last time... I ate, but I, but I would like, like I wouldn't, I'm not, that's I'm a not, dare of some sort. No, no, no I, no, okay, I, okay, I, I want to be able to, you know, you can't listen. I don't, I don't think it's good to, to have a system that is so fragile. Yeah. If you throw a slice of pizza in there, yeah. It, yeah. it wreaks havoc. Yeah. I think you need to be able to, sure. Hey, if you got to go somewhere and eat something and it's like, I'm don't, be no don't be precious. I want precious. the diesel truck. It just you, a little water in the fuel might make a few little misfires, but you're still going. You're still, you know, we're still rolling. We don't, we don't want, we don't need high tuned, yeah. you know, whoops, the fuel uh, ratio right. was wrong. Boom. We blew the motor. I don't want, I don't. Ice cream. That's not what about ice cream. cream? That's actually the, one of the worst things you can eat. Ice yeah. cream. Dairy and sugar together it's the are not combination good. is, is. You have it, to, you, 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 you say listen, that like we cream, want but, it. But listen, if you ate real like, the real stuff. If you make real ice cream, which I mean, with real raw cream. dairy, like raw churn dairy, yourself. like, like cow. turn yourself, <laughs> raw dairy, <laughs> cow. no, churn it, yeah. raw dairy yeah. and some <laughs> real raw sugar. honey or something, yeah, yeah. or it would be that would be. That's why ice cream is ice cream because in its in its original state, yeah. it was the but it was no. incredible. Yeah. But no, I mean now when you're it's you, we're not the missing label. anything. The though. labels. Yeah, I think you think what we feel like we're in denying ourselves. You've had ice cream, right? No. Uh, yes, uh, I think you realize is what you have to realize. Once you don't do it for a long period of time, you actually don't really miss it. it. Well, you crave what you feed. You crave what you feed. That's the rule. So you know that if you're consuming, yeah. a, uh, if you're consuming a lot of sugar, yeah, that's you're, what anything you want. sweet. You're going to be because people go, oh, you have such willpower. I go, actually, I'm just not craving. I crave other. I crave Fat. like, you know, I'll, at the end of dinner, I'll be like, you know what? I didn't have enough good fat in that meal right i just macadamia nuts i'll be in the corner and i might throw it on some raw yogurt or something and be like macadamia nuts and raw yogurt and that's incredible do you think we're missing out is that it um how do i say this gabby <laughs> um he just wants to be no, no 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 no, no 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 i i think you're i do think you're missing out a little bit okay so but i would like to be as what? as as healthy as but you it's not about are. being healthy like i have a off re knee replacement laird has his hip yeah he's surfing big waves we're you know listen it's, I think for both of us, it's like how you feel. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I, all I do is just sit on my ass all the time. Yeah, but you have a that real job. That means you, you got to be even more job. disciplined. 
It's true. Unfortunately, <laughs> that means even you even have to be like. How it, long do you think it would take if I st if I stayed off of sugar? How long would it take me to not two, have that? To not babies? to not go crazy. Three yeah. months. At the, not Three even. Three months. No, Sixty-one less days. Than that. Less than that. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, just you ask just Susie for more of the good no, thing. No, you could wean yourself. Honestly, she knows. just say no, like, but you could wean yourself. Say, just ask your wife because you yeah. know her. No, yeah. I mean, right. ask her for more of the good thing. <laughs> right. Sexy you just time. Have to <laughs> just be like, I give up sugar. You give me more sexy time. She'll she's, be like, she's probably listening right now and drove off Susie. the road. Come on, Susie. She's a yeah? stud. She okay. can do it. I'm. You know, listen. It's not about. This is what I tell people. It's not that you can't eat it. Of course you can. You just you just don't. Okay. Well, and, and you have to replace it. You just you have to say. And don't look at what you can't. Look at what you can't. If you focus on what you can, there is more what you can than I love it. what you can't. Life Rider, get the book right Thanks, now. Rich. Go to xptlife.com for more about extreme performance training with Laird Hamilton and Gabby Reese. Great Thank to you, see sir. you guys. Great Absolutely. to see you. You guys are the best. You really are. And uh, so concludes the rare instance of me conducting an interview as easily the third least attractive person on the set. <laughs> The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.